Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa and I'm also known as Simstar555. It's very lovely to meet you. I'm here now looking into January the 29th and the 30th of 2024. Everything you need to know about me, it is down below in the description box. Happy birthday, sign of Aquarius. I really do hope that you enjoy your birthday season. Now, on this message right here, take what resonates, lead the rest. Don't make something fit here, it's not your story, okay? Um, let me see what else. I do have a couple of uh, spaces still available for today's sale. It's a mega sale, $24 for personal reading, and it's only for today only. And if you are interested, I'll put the text line down below because there's just a few spots that's available, okay? So anyway, let's see what we have here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is January the 29th and the 30th is 2024, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. January 29th. Okay, love flipping up here. Mm, very nice. Very nice to get a start here. Love, I like that. It's nice. That's really nice. Okay, let's see what else here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Allow me here now to be the channel, please. For this collective, something flips over in here. And this one is... Hidden for now, still a mystery. Hmm, okay. Hidden for now, still a mystery. Let's see what else here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels message. Allow me here to be the channel. Wow, look at that. Two dozen of roses. It didn't flip out here, but I've seen it. Two dozen of roses right there, right? So, okay, maybe somebody here does love you or something here could be happening for Valentine's Day or maybe somebody's getting ready for something in Valentine's Day. Something like that. Let me see what else here. I'm getting like something that's 46 something. 460. Maybe it's $460 or $46 or something like that. Okay. It says right here, inheritance. They left money for you. Okay. I'm also hearing they left love for you. Okay. So somebody even left mo money for you or they left love for you in some way. Okay. What's the message here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's see here. Something flips over here. We have pink. Yeah, those pink roses. Look, pink. This is about love. Something's about love right here, okay? Because pink is a color of love. It even says it right here, love, right? But it says right here, romance, beauty, love, sensuality, loving yourself, happiness, hope, sweet, playful, inspirational, floral, okay? Okay, so somebody could love you. Maybe they do. Wow. Well, maybe somebody is planning to do something really, really nice for you, I feel. Okay, something flips over here. A real estate contract. Okay, so maybe somebody here either left you um, inherited property. What could be the case right here with these two. Right? Or something could be about a house. I'm not sure if you're decorating a house for the, you know, for love. I get like love energy is coming into this house or something like that. Look at this one. This one here says karma. Money doors are open for you. So there's some money doors open up for you too right here. Okay. Could be a real estate contract. Maybe you have a new house. Could be the case. Or maybe you're decorating the house. Okay. That could be hidden from somebody here. But right here at the top of the deck we have divine feminine, intelligent, courageous, and beauty. Right, so this definitely could be a divine feminine. This also could represent right here. Um, something that you're doing to this real estate property is so beautiful. We have beauty right here, right? Something was so beautiful about this property. This even could be a divine feminine right here. Somebody's very intelligent, they're very courageous, they're very beautiful. Some money doors could be open for somebody here. All right, and love. I'm getting like something here. The word love. Okay, if you love them, you better tell them or something like that. <laughs> get okay. All right, let's see here. Let's see what else we're gonna get. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, allow me here now to do the channel, please. This is January the 29th and the 30th of 2024. Okay, let's see here. Th there you go, Divine Feminine again. Okay, so this could definitely be a Divine Feminine right here with these two. Could be. Okay. Could be a Taurus or Libra. This Empress also could represent grace. There could be a new beginning happening some way. Could be. You create you're creating something new. I feel with the Empress. This even could be somebody's pregnant. Could be the case right here. Yeah. So you could be pregnant. Congratulations if you're pregnant. I know what this could be right here. 
if you don't want to be pregnant, I will use precautions because this empress is here. It's like somebody here could be very fertile right now. Look at the sense right here. Yeah, page of pentacles right here. So some of you may get a message that somebody's pregnant. Because this one could definitely be a trustworthy messenger. So for some of you, somebody's pregnant, I feel. Okay. What's the message right here, please? Could be um a, a, a Taurus. Both of these cards could be a Taurus. Okay, Capricorn, Virgo, or Libra. It's like somebody's pregnant. They either could be having an Earth sign child, could be the case. Or a Libra child. And now I have another child right here. Maybe they have a twins. Could be the case right here. These pages could be children for some people here. All right. Or maybe this is a secret right here. Maybe somebody doesn't know you have children. That's no way this could be too. Maybe you already have children. They don't know that, I feel. So they might be realizing that you have children for some people right here. All right. Um, I feel like something's good news. Somebody has a child for some people here. Okay. So that's good news for some people here. I'm getting, you know, I feel like you're happy about it for somebody here. Okay, uh, another another thing this could be right here is that um, something's good news could be some money here for a mother, could be the case because this page of pentacles also could be a message of finances and money. Okay, so it could be some message here about money that's really good news for your mother or you're the mother. Okay, what's the message right here, please? Okay, so six of pentacles is right here. Yeah, this is money. So I feel like some good news financially here for the mother. Okay. Yeah. Right. I just feel like somebody may find out somebody has a child or that somebody is pregnant. That could be hidden right now. <laughs> They're pregnant or they do have children. I feel like somebody doesn't know they have children. Yeah, the hanging man right here. Okay. I feel like somebody wonders, do you have children? Okay. Or are you pregnant? Something like that. Okay, yeah. What's the message? Or do you want children? Could be the case. Do you want children? Something like that. A Taurus. Three times here. The Taurus is pregnant. That's what I'm getting right here. Could be a Taurus right here that's pregnant. The higher font is Taurus right here. This card could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo right here. And then this one right here is definitely Taurus again. So I feel like this Taurus is pregnant for some people right here. Okay, if you don't want to be pregnant, use precautions. But I'll see Taurus right here anywhere in somebody's chart. Okay, so I feel like they're pregnant for some people here. Okay. Okay, let's see right here. Okay, two of pentacles right here. Hmm. I'm not going to go there right now. Okay, all right. Knight of cups. Let's see what we have here. All right, this is the knight of cups here. All right, so let me see what's going on here. So I feel like somebody wants to negotiate with you, okay, because I don't know if they're pregnant or something like that. This could be one of those messages like, mom, I'm pregnant, or I'm pregnant, I'm going to be a mom, so like that, okay. What else is going on? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, the Empress right here in the Hanging Man. Yeah, Tower. Hmm. Yeah. So I feel like somebody realizes right now they're pregnant. Okay. Tower is a revelation right here. Understanding right here. Okay. About um the Empress, which could be a mother. If this is not about a child, this is about right here. Um giving birth to some new idea that you're doing here some type of way. I feel like it has to do with love in some way. Okay, so somebody here could be giving birth to something new with the Empress right here. If it's not a child. What's the Empress right here in the tower? The Empress right here and the tower. Okay. Five of Wands. Hmm. So the Five of Wands, because I feel like for some people here, somebody's worried, okay, that somebody's pregnant. Or how somebody will feel if somebody's pregnant. Okay, for some people, it's conflict right here. This one could represent conflict, okay? Arguments, misunderstanding. It could be competition. Is two people pregnant or what? What's the message here, please? Pregnancy is definitely in the air right here. Yeah, five of cups right here, okay? Yeah. So, I feel like some conflict is here in some way. 
somebody and in the midst of all the conflict there's some good love good news energy that i'm pregnant for somebody here right so but somebody's a regret because whatever the conflict is surrounding like let's say some conflict is already happening and then somebody found they're pregnant they're like dang or this did the mother leave okay and then somebody's pregnant here they don't know they, they're pregnant or something like that what's the message here yeah, King of Wands. See, I do feel like some conflict is here somewhere. And somebody's a regret about whatever the conflict is, I feel. They have regret about it, I feel. With this card right here. It's regret, grief, and sorrow right here. Some conflict, all right, that's around some situation about a mother or a child or anybody else, okay? Or tourists, definitely, okay? The Howard Font right here in the Page of Pentacles. This even could be a tourist having a tourist child. I just got that, okay? It could be the case here. But I feel like some news is here, okay? It's about um a tourist or a marriage or religion, okay? Some message here, please. Two of Swords hmm. and the Eight of Pentacles. So some of you, you don't even see, okay, that somebody's pregnant, I feel. With the Two of Swords. You don't even see that, I feel, right? Or... Somebody's pregnant right here with somebody that's a stalemate. Could be the case. Because Eight of Pentacles right here is about putting the hard work. It's about being focused right here. And the Two of Swords right here is a stalemate or something like that. Okay. So I feel like even somebody here wish they put the hard work into you because they wanted to get married to you and they want to have a child by you. Okay. Somebody even could be heartbroken over here because you're pregnant and you put in the hard work to somebody else. Somebody else is heartbroken, I feel. What's the page of wands right here? And the Two of Pentacles, please. Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, please. Okay, yeah. So this is the Two of Pentacles right here and the Page of Wands that we're talking about now, okay? That we have right here, the Nine of Cups is reversed. Hmm. So I feel like some people here, somebody did want to have a child by you. But it could be a challenge right here with this one being defensive. Maybe somebody's very defensive right here. It even could be two of pentacles, okay? That maybe there was multiple lovers and who is the child's father or something like that. Could even be two women is pregnant. Could be the case here. So it could be two people pregnant at the same time. That's what it could be. Right? It's not what you're fulfilling. Somebody was juggling or something like that, I feel, in some way. What's the message here? Page of pentacles. Yeah, because the truth is here. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Um, that's what it could be. Or it's like, I can't even negotiate something right here with somebody. The Knight of Cups right here and a Six of Pentacles. So this could be about finances and money. Yeah, definitely could be a relationship right here, okay? I feel like somebody here wants to propose a relationship or wants to propose, um, maybe somebody's going to propose to somebody here. I feel like it's not what you're to somebody else that they're going to propose to you. They want to be with them or something or you or something. What's the message here for you? Six of Pentacles and a Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is a relationship. So I feel like some of you, you're going into a relationship, okay? I feel like it's not what you're filming to somebody else though. Message here because yeah, they definitely could be spying on you right here, right? Or you know, the truth right here that this relationship is about money for some people here doesn't have to be though, right? It's just so many ways it could be, and I was going to throw it all the way out here because six of pentacles could be money, all right? So that could be the case for some people here, but others right here, somebody see you in a relationship with somebody else, okay? You could be happy with them, maybe you're in a relationship with somebody here that has money, could be the case. Yeah, it could be a Virgo, okay? So it could be a relationship with a Virgo that has money or the Virgo, you know, has met somebody here with money or something. Queen of Swords. Hmm. So there definitely could be some truthful energy here. All right. Well, the Queen of Swords is very intellectual. Okay. 
Or I'm not sure if somebody else has the money right here. Okay, because if somebody else has the money right here, the Queen of Swords is here. So she be saying like, with the Page of Swords, this is my truth about something here. About a relationship or about money or something like that. Yeah, see, Seven of Swords is here. So I'm not sure if somebody here is creeping or there could be some more going on here. Or somebody feel like you're running away from a relationship right here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles right here and the Two of Cups. You know, there's so many ways this could go. I even feel like with the Ten of Pentacles right here and the Two of Cups, that maybe somebody here wants to be a relationship they don't want to like share money or something like that i feel right here so you know that could, that could be an issue to somebody here or if somebody here was juggling it's definitely not what you're filming now i feel they was juggling i feel for some people here okay it's not what you're filming they was doing something like that yeah the devil cut is here it could be a capricorn right here Right. Somebody could have got somebody pregnant. Could be the case. Right. But on the other notes, I see that there is money doors opening for somebody here. Okay. No more cards is coming out here, you guys. Okay. Here we go right here. Seven of Cups. This is a card about exploring um other options in some type of way. Many options here available. So, for some people here with the devil card and the seven of cups, something's wishful thinking. They could be lusting or something like that. It could be the case. I feel like they was doing some lusting right here or exploring other options here. Some people here. Somebody could know that for some people here. Okay. But, yeah. Hidden for now is still a mystery. Is it the fact right here that somebody's pregnant? Could be. Some people here. All right. Some money doors is open to somebody here. That's karma. <laughs> Get right here. This karma, money doors is open to you. For some of you, you may have a new real estate contract. I'm seeing right here. Maybe somebody left you this property right here. Could be the case, right? I see that you really are loving yourself. Something here could definitely be pink, all right? That is love in the air, though, in some way here, I feel. All right? This is what I have. Thank you so much for taking a look here. And I send you all peace, blessings, love, and lights. Namaste to you.